The district attorney says the priest did, in fact, kill the boy, and new evidence, including from the suspect's own mouth, was key in this case. The district attorney here says he was literally hours away from charging the suspect when he got word that the suspect had died. The credible and significant evidence that has been assembled in the last year that incriminates Richard Levine, I am announcing today that the investigation into the murder of Danny Croto is now officially closed. Nearly 50 years after the body of altar boy Danny Croto was found in the Connecticut River in Chicopee, his murder has been solved. The Hampton DA says Richard Levine, who was once the priest at the Croto family's parish in Springfield, killed the boy. Levine was later defrocked and convicted of molesting other boys. Richard Levine died this past Friday evening, May 21, in a hospital facility in Greenfield. Levine had long been a suspect in this case. He denied killing Danny Croto. If I share this with the public, they probably wouldn't believe it. But in a series of recent recorded interviews with a state police detective, Levine admits to shoving Croto into the river. I just remember being heartbroken when I saw his body going on the river, knowing I was responsible for giving him a big shove, you know. Joe Croto is Danny's brother. To hear the voice of a sociopath like that guy is bone chilling. It's unbelievable. I'm awfully glad that my parents will never hear this. In a police report from 1972, just two days after Danny Croto's body was found, Richard Levine is quoted as asking if a stone was used and thrown into the river, would blood still be on it? Reporting live at Springfield, Todd Kiskevich, WCVB News Center 5.